What's up guys, Saman here, and welcome to a brand new series called Best Gaming Peripherals. Here, we will be showcasing some amazing products from Logitech, Razer, SteelSeries, and many more. So, let's start off with Logitech. First, we have the Logitech G933 Artima Spectrum Gaming Headset. The G933 comes with all the perks of a gaming headset. For starters, it has adapted a fancy design with RGB lighting, is equipped with 7.1 virtual surround sound, and it's wireless. I have to admit, the G933 looks absolutely stunning with the RGB lights turned on. And by the way, these lightings can be configured to different modes via Logitech's proprietary software. The Spectrum's industrial design looks something out of a video game. The air cup swivel which is a nice touch, although it took me a while to put it on for the first time as the headband does not extend that much. But once it is in place, the Artima Spectrum has comfortable secure fit. The air cups have this mesh breathable foam that lets your ear breathe, but there is minimal noise cancellation due to the material choice. But it is really helpful in gaming marathons as your ears do not get sweaty. One of the interesting design choice with the headset is the way it stores the wireless adapter. Each air cup houses a removable panel, one for the battery and one where the USB adapter clips on during transport. It's very stealthy and ensures that you won't lose the adapter when it is not in use. Furthermore, the G933 comes with three additional cables to be used with either mobile devices, consoles, televisions, and other high-end audio setups. Thanks to the 7.1 virtual surround sound, this wireless headset produces nice, crisp, and balanced audio with minimal delay resulting immersive gaming experience. I could easily listen to my enemies casting spells or even detecting invisible enemies with World of Warcraft. Furthermore, the ergonomically placed volume wheel, mute, and power button along with three customizable buttons add to your gaming experience. Adding more to the experience is its incredible battery life. That lasted me about 7 hours with the lightings turned on and 12 hours with the lightings turned off. Moving on, the boom mic folds up against the headset and has a flexible arm that lets you line it up with your mouth. Speaking about the mic, its quality is solid, cancelling almost all the background noise and even breathing noise is barely noticeable. All in all, the G933 is one of the best wireless gaming headsets with a number of standout features. Next, we have the Logitech G900 Chaos Spectrum Gaming Mouse. I have always avoided using wireless mice, because a lot of them have noticeable input lag, are not that accurate when the receiver is a little far, and the cursor also tends to jump in some cases. But that doesn't seem to be the case with the G900. There was no cursor jumping, the mouse movement is precise, and I couldn't notice lags in cursor movement. The G900 uses the famous and well-praised PMW3366 sensor which some people claim to be the best sensor in the world. Logitech first used this sensor on their G502, which I have been using for over a year and a half. Unlike previous Logitech mice such as the G502 Proteus Spectrum and the G303 Daedalus Apex, the G900 is not based on any pre-existing mouse design. As such, it sports a distinctive appearance that complements how supremely comfortable it is, regardless of your dominant hand. The G900 is a small, light, symmetrical device with a thin body. The ergonomics is also great and fit for either claw or palm grip. This mouse has 11 buttons, all of which are programmable, and a button on the bottom used to cycle between 5 profiles. Here is a quick audio sample of the mouse clicks. The buttons on the left and right side can either be swapped out for no buttons, which can make it easier for you to avoid clicking buttons you don't want to use. The scroll wheel is rubberized and can also tilt. Below the scroll wheel is a button, and perhaps one of my favorite features, the hyper scroll feature. When you press this, it releases a lock and you can scroll freely through numerous pages just with a single scroll. You also have two buttons that change your DPI from configured settings. The mouse also comes with a wire that can be converted into a range extender. Disconnect your wire to the range extender and hook it up with the normal connector. Then you can use your mouse from even further away. 
Now for the gameplay. I played games like World of Warcraft and FPSs like Counter-Strike and Max Payne 3, and this mouse hasn't failed to appeal me. The flick shots have been very accurate and the cursor movement is smooth. When I play World of Warcraft, I normally tend to click on the abilities rather than using the keyboard, and so far I haven't experienced any misclicking of spells. All in all, it is one of the best gaming mouse I have ever put my hands on. Next, we have the Logitech G910 Orion Spectrum. The Spectrum is nearly identical in appearance to the Orion Spark. It still features the same full-size keyboard layout, complete with a 10-key number pad, ARX smartphone dock, dedicated media controls, 9 macro keys, and 3 swappable profile keys. It also keeps Logitech's proprietary Romergy mechanical switches and a 113 key rollover. But there is a difference. The Spectrum does away with the Spark sculpted keycaps, and this makes it way easier for you to move your fingers without lifting it to a significant height. The next design change is in the wrist rest. The Spark's asymmetrical design is wider on the left and narrower on the right, but the Spectrum has done a great job here making the wrist rest straight, smooth, and simple. Logitech's Romergy switches are tactile, responsive, and relatively quiet for mechanical switches. Here's a quick audio sample. This keyboard also has RGB, and RGB is always a welcome addition at this price point. And the G910 has outstanding perky lighting with amazing effects like star effect and press key illumination. Logitech's proprietary gaming software makes it very easy for you to manage your RGB and many other options. You also have a button on the top to switch your lighting on or off. And on the top right corner, you can find the media controls with a volume wheel and a mute button. You also get a key that disables specific keys on the keyboard when active. For example, you could disable the Windows key when gaming so you could avoid misclicking it. You also get 9 macro keys. The macro keys are placed in convenient locations with one vertical row of 5 on the left side of the keyboard and another horizontal row of 4 just above the F1 to 4 keys. Like the WASD keys, they are easily distinguished by the distinctive geometric key label design. You can also change your mode with 4 keys on the top left to easily switch between different profiles. In terms of everyday typing, the Spectrum performs well, and many of the game-centric features could be repurposed for light productivity. For instance, you could easily create a keyboard profile to speed up tasks like copying and pasting or launching frequently used programs. That was it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions on gaming, leave your comments down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.